Chapter 9 Julie's Dream Julie, how are you? Are you feeling all right? Anna, what are you doing here? says Julie. I want to talk to you, says Anna, about the locket. Julie doesn't look at Anna. She is afraid of Anna's eyes. No, she replies. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to the kitchen. Please don't follow me. She goes quickly into the kitchen. She is looking for David. She sees him at one of the tables. She sits down next to him and begins to cry. What's wrong, Julie? asks David. Please, David, I want you to telephone my parents. You have to telephone them now. I want to leave Hollyhow tonight. I want to go home. No, Julie, says David. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm sorry, says Julie. But I'm scared. I think something bad is going to happen to me here. I have to leave tonight. Julie, listen. You're upset because of the accident, says David. Yes, replies Julie. I know, but I want to go home. I'm sorry, Julie, but that's impossible, says David. Our phone isn't working now. Oh, no, cries Julie. Where's the nearest public telephone? I'm sorry, but it's in the village, ten kilometers away. Oh, dear, says Julie. Can't you drive me to a telephone in the car? We don't have a car here. There's a bus on Fridays to take people to the train station, but no car. Why don't we telephone your parents tomorrow? They're coming to repair our phone tomorrow morning. You don't understand. I have to talk to them tonight. It's very important, says Julie again. Julie, you're upset. You're ill. You need some sleep. Go and lie down on your bunk. I can help you tomorrow. You're safe here in Hollyhow. Don't worry. Julie sighs. She is too tired to insist. Okay. She says, I'm going to my room, David. Good girl, says David. Good night. Sleep well. David turns to talk to the other people at the table. Julie sees Anna there with two other girls. They are laughing. <laughs> Anna looks up and smiles at Julie. Julie doesn't look at Anna. She walks quickly to the door. She leaves the kitchen and goes to her room. She opens the door very quietly. She looks in. The room is empty. Good. No one is here. She lies down on her bunk. She is very, very tired. What am I going to do? She thinks. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall. But her eyes close, and soon Julie is fast asleep. She dreams about the accident on the lake. She is in the water. She is going down, down, down into the shadows. Anna is there in the water with her. Hello, Julie, says Anna. Her voice is faint. It's good to see you here. Do you like the water? Isn't it lovely here? No, Anna. I don't want to be here. It's horrible. It's dark. I want to be with my family. I want you to leave me alone, cries Julie. I don't have any friends here. I want a friend, answers Anna sadly. It's very cold down here says Julie. Very cold. Very cold. Julie wakes up from her dream. She rubs her eyes. The air in the room is like ice. Brr! She says. Why is it so cold in here? I'm freezing. Then she sees Anna standing next to her bed. 